Thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Velma Brockovich, Troy Smothers, Morad Shaker, Victor Vegas, and Safe Moon Oz for being higher level patrons. You can join that for as little as $1 a month. There is a link down in the description below. Also, thank you to my YouTube members. You can click the join button below this video if you'd like to show your support there. Please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. This being shared by Safe Moon Warrior over on Twitter, he says, Safe Moon, it looks like Cake is adding liquidity to Safe Moon Swap. You there, Pancake Swap? And then he provides the transaction ID address. Um, so check this out. Pancake Swap, in case you guys didn't know, is very similar to Safe Moon Swap. I mean, I'm sure many people know this already, but just for those of you that are watching that maybe didn't. And when Safe Moon first launched, it was tradable through Pancake Swap. That was Safe Moon version one. Now, when Safe Moon version two has come out, the idea here is that you don't need Pancake Swap. The whole premise is that Safe Moon has their own swap provider, and so it has liquidity established there and trades can take place natively. So what ended up happening was some individuals had gone out of their own way and they added liquidity to PancakeSwap to be able to have trading take place for SafeMoon version two. That was not from the SafeMoon team, that was just from whoever decided that they wanted to do it. Problem is that there's very, very little liquidity that's over there, so trading can have a whole slew of different issues. It's not to say you can't trade over on PancakeSwap, um, for version two, it just raises a whole bunch of issues. <clears throat> Transaction speed, the amount of slippage that takes place from trades, things like that. So Pancake Swap also has their own native token, which is called Cake. And Cake being a part of the SafeMoon Swap system, I mean, it makes sense. Lots of people still use Pancake Swap. It's not to say that because SafeMoon Swap is out, now pancake swap doesn't exist no pancake swap still exists and cake has its own benefits so previously when other projects have tried adding liquidity to the safe moon swap there's been members of the safe moon team who have gone in and had to actually manually remove them or blacklist them as a kind of a thing because they weren't vetted they weren't approved on any of this right so to see that with all the migration steps that are taking place right now with SafeMoon Swap and to see that there's liquidity that's being added in, which appears to be coming from PancakeSwap side, it's nice to see that there's not a, this sense of bad blood between the projects. Um, I don't know who it is that's moving this over. If it's coming from PancakeSwap's own resource, which I I believe that's what this is saying right here. I'm not 100% to be honest with you guys. And if you do know for sure, by all means, share the information down in the comments below with us, please. But the fact that we are seeing Cake existing with SafeMoon Swap system, I think it's a good sign. I think it shows healthy relationships and ultimately people will pick and choose which projects that they want to use. Like for example, you could still use both. SafeMoon Swap has the benefit that it's a small group of projects, but they've been vetted. So the likelihood of those projects being good to go, they're fine, you're less likely to have rug pulls, all that kind of stuff, right? That's the value that SafeMoon Swap offers. That's a pro. What's the con? The con is that when there are new projects that are listing, they're not likely to show up on the SafeMoon Swap. They're going to end up being over on pancake swap right so a brand new project that launches on the binance smart chain side at the very least let's focus on that uh, they're going to be going through pancake swap and if you want to be able to purchase those you got a choice right you can either take the risk of coming in on those projects right away over on the pancake swap side or wait and hope that the day comes that they finally end up over on the safe and swap side and who knows what the price is at that point in time so there's definitely pros and cons to both sides of this. And I'm just wanting to share with you guys that, yes, it looks like there is liquidity from PancakeSwap's cake token that has been moved over. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. I do have referral links. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I do have referral links if you wanna get free crypto or free stock in the description. I've been doing some sponsored videos recently and there's giveaways for those projects. So if you guys have some spare time and you wanna go check out some other projects that are being released, go check out my other videos that I got and you have a chance to enter in for those giveaways as well. So thank you so much everybody for being here. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. It does help us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon. God bless, and I will see you in the next episode.